Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how you can install Apache Ant on your local machine. Uh, just follow the instructions uh, step by step and I can assure you it will be really easy. It's not going to be a long video for sure. So first thing, just go to your command prompt and see which version of uh, Java you have right now. So just type Java and version. Don't type just Java v, uh, hyphen V, it will not show up anything. Uh, so as you can see right now I have Java version 1.8.0 underscore 9.2 and uh, just to see what's your like, environment is set it up to run the Java from your command prompt so it's a little bit different from your Windows 7 or Windows 8 system so if you go to your my this PC go to properties and here you can find on the left side advanced system settings if you go to environment variables uh, just go to your path right here and go edit here you can see it's not like uh, something like I'll show you what I'm talking about it's not like this one here in Windows 10 like uh, Java underscore home but instead as you can see here you can uh, it's Oracle Java Java path so they have changed the way they initialize the uh, environment variable right here so anyways uh, if you just leave it like that and install ant path it will not gonna work it will show you some JRE uh, tools something not cannot find so it will not work I tried before it didn't work for me so I I figured out how it, it things should work so Joe just go to your browser and type on Google Apache and download so I think I'm in the wrong way oh no there you go so just go to the and Apache org binary downloads dot CGI and here you find the zip archive so just go there just download it so just unzip the folder so I'll show you everything step by step so you can put this Apache and uh, hyphen 1.9.7 on anywhere in your computer some people prefer it put it in the C drive I prefer in my home folder and I'll show you what I'll do here if I go to my home folder and just drag it to my home folder So here you can see the Apache Ant 1.9.7 is on my home computer uh, home uh, folder. So now we have to configure the environment variable for this. So let's go to that window, Advanced System Settings again, and Environment Variable. Oh, uh, here you just press New over here, and variable name it has to be Ant underscore home and variable value so this is the value where is the folder the end is so the folder I uh, you know the I put that folder the home folder so if you go to browse the directory go to your uh, Apache end 1.97 just select that don't go inside there and press OK and just press OK to configure it. So now you can see the end home is right there, the variable name and the value is the path. Now, if you go to the path and just edit that path. So what you have to do right now here is, because you put the 
percentage and underscore home percentage as the you already configured the value on it so right now what you have to do just put new and uh, type and underscore home and percentage again and forward slash sorry black slash whatever it is I don't know so you just put a uh, bin no this has to be lower case so bin and just press ok now your end is configured but the, if you go to your command prompt and say like end version it says end is not recognized as an internal or external command because you have to configure the java uh, path variable as well the way windows 10 has configured the java path variable it will not work with end so just show you right here so what you have to do just go to edit and you know just copy this locations because you might need it later on just I copy and paste it on a new text document so that I can get this back if I have any problem or trouble so I have to I, I'm gonna delete this one now what I'm gonna do is press ok and come out from there and make a java home variable and the value here would be the path where the JDK is installed on your computer which would be C program files Java don't uh, select JRE if you press JRE it will not gonna work it has to be JDK and don't go inside just uh, the parent folder press ok and come out press ok again now Java home is configured with a value now you have to put the path on the path variable so just edit that and same the some way we uh, configured and we have to configure the Java home as well so we have to do just percentage java underscore home percentage and bin press ok press ok again so far so good i think it should good it should work right now if you just say java version is still is working now like before and if you say end version it still says and is not recognized the reason behind this is because you see you, ha you already had configured java uh, path variable but this is not coming from the new configured system it's coming because you have to rest restart the system so here i am back after the restarting the machine so just go to your command prompt in windows machine and just check if everything has been configured so just go to java don't just press like java hyphen v it will show you some kind of error i'll show you so you see it says uh unrecognized option v i think v here is for bar was not for version but i don't know just type version here so it, you, you will see the version number so you see the java path variable is working perfectly here and now just same i will i'll do it for the end uh, here we go the ant is also installed on the machine and thank you very much for watching the video i hope you find it uh, like helpful leave any comments or anything or any questions i'll try to answer it as early as possible thank you very much bye